Okay, so today we're going to be talking about what you should bring when coming to the birth center for mom and baby. So first, we want snacks. We want you to have energy in labor, so something protein, something that will give you energy. So protein bars are really good. We have some dried fruit, so fresh fruit would be good. Just a variety of things because you don't know what you're going to be in the mood for when labor comes. So just bring a bunch of things that you could take little bites out of, take little bites of during labor. Next, you will want a water cup to fill up throughout your labor. So we have a water filter here that you can just keep going back to. So have a water cup and then maybe have a cup for electrolytes too. So maybe bring coconut water, electrolytes, juice, just a variety, because we'll want you to have some juice and electrolytes for energy and labor also. Also postpartum, if your blood pressure gets a little low, we say eat something protein, drink some juice, and let's check it again. So it's super important to bring. Then for postpartum, you will need a comfy outfit to go home in. Most of our moms like to do a comfy robe with their softest pair of pajamas. So we just have some comfy shorts here and um, just a little sleep top that you can change into after you shower and then get dressed. And then you will want to bring, bring a whole pack of Depends. So it might seem cringy to you, but we need these. They are super helpful postpartum. And then if you also want to bring padsicles, those just feel amazing postpartum also after you shower and we can stick them in your Depends. And that just makes the area feel so cool, especially if you have tearing. Then also postpartum, you will need toiletry. So if you want to shower, if you want to bring your shampoo, conditioner, body wash, that would be great too. If you want a toothbrush to brush your teeth, if you want chapstick, bring chapstick, deodorant, bring deodorant, moisturizer, whatever you would pack that you need post shower to feel good is what you can bring. And then we have a swimsuit for partner. So this could be good if they are wanting to help you in the shower or even get in the bath with you sometimes. Um, we can do naked moms, but we don't do naked dads. So definitely bring a swim trunks for them to wear. And then you want, this kind of goes with pajamas, but to labor in, you can do just a, just a comfy bra that you can bring, something that's easily removable, something soft, something that you can get wet. And I would bring a couple different ones in case you're getting in and out of the tub and you don't wanna stay in a wet bra. You can also um, bring a swimsuit top to labor in too. A couple of our moms will do swimsuit tops and yeah, just something easily removable, something that clips in the back could be really good too. So, um, so after baby's born, we don't have to try to do the whole shimmy over your head thing. We could just easily clip from the back. And then for baby, so moving on to baby, we have a baby onesie, a going home outfit. You can bring a couple of these. You can bring a couple swaddle blankets for baby and then a couple diapers for baby as well. You can also bring your boppy pillow for, um, for breastfeeding help, or we can have pillows that you can stack, but bring a boppy pillow, that would be helpful for nursing. Okay, let's see, did I forget anything else? The last thing that you probably wouldn't guess that is the most important, but it is, we cannot let you leave unless you have this one thing, and it is the car seat for baby. We cannot let you leave unless you have a car seat, so do not forget this part. Have it in your bag, um, not your bag, have it, have it in your car at 37 weeks, ready to go in case you go into labor. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the main things that you'll need for birth here. Yeah, and then anything else that you feel like would be helpful.